and welcome to Revolución Latina. Hi, my name is Luis Salgado. Today, I went to an event, and it was an amazing event. And we have we have to thank Teatro Stage Fest for doing such a great job in putting a festival. This is the second year that Teatro Stage Fest is having their season, and this one actually is from June 2nd to June 15, and they're doing an amazing job. So we went today to the panel. Limanol Miranda, Graciela Daniel, uh, Bianca de, from Chicago the Musical, and also Eugenio who was doing Latino vlogs. Since I was a little girl on the border and, and I would cross the bridge every morning to go to school in Brownsville, living in Matamoros, and so we spoke English during the day at school and then Spanish at the house. So I think that's why I now have like the ability to switch it on and off, to go into English or go into Spanish. Thank God for that training, really, that later in life when it, when, when it came. Because then I, after I graduated from high school in Brownsville, I went further into the country. I went to college in Monterrey and then Mexico City when I was, you know. So I didn't speak the English at all until the opportunity came to cross over. I was so behind on the slang. I was so behind, my conversational skills were really rusty at, at, the po at that point because it had been so many years that I hadn't really spoken. But it allowed me to, um, to, be, to switch it on and be able to learn a script and, and just, you know, I, I never really had any boo-boos of going back into the Spanish or anything like that. But f funny that you say, so, so the role that brought me to this country is Roxy. Um, Bianca actually mentioned, my struggle is to open the path for new roles because she spoke a little bit about the struggle that she had not fitting the right types, not fitting um, the, what the people, the stereotype that people think a Latino actress is. Another person that actually, Eugenio, was fantastic throughout the night. We also want to congratulate him in his new film that is making a success and in the fact that he's breaking that ground of, you know, uh, people that only see him as a comedian. He was talking today about the opportunity of being able to play dramatic roles. Congratulations on that and we also empower you guys actors to be able to break those boundaries, explore, dare to go beyond, dare to break that comfort zone and allow people to give you the opportunity to do something else. I arrived to the United States and I had to, to carry my, my own <laughs> I was nobody. The first time I, 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 <laughs> I arrived to, the, to, to Latino Logs, to the, to the theater, I was with my with my um, my vestuario, my costume. I was like, where can I put my my, my things? Uh, anywhere on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was really funny to be like a very famous guy in three days or four days of the week, and the rest I was nobody. <laughs> and it was really really. Uh, Curious, and I learned a lot of, of that experience because it's like in the, it, it uh, makes you f uh, grow as a human being, as an actor. As a, I mean, uh, you are not a great person. It's just, just, I'm, I am, a, estoy de moda in Mexico. You know how? Fashion. I'm a, a fashion uh, product in Mexico, and I, I'm not an, an, in America. So it was quite uh, interesting to me to um, these two worlds at the same time. Eugenio said, um, even though I was on Broadway, I, was still the, I still did not know how to say, I kept saying Catholic. And it wasn't until two years later that somebody actually told him how to say Catholic. And that's really actually interesting because we dare. Although that he probably did not have the correct speech or whatnot, and he didn't have to, obviously, because he achieved to be on Broadway and doing Latino logs for that amount of time without saying the word Catholic, right? It's not a problem when you are daring to go beyond, when you are daring to explore the boundaries, to follow your heart, to follow your passion. And I thought that was a great example of how he had no limitations for himself, how he went out of his comfort zone, explored something. He was mentioning how he started doing um, acting in English without even knowing what the words mean. That is a risk. That is something that has um, two sides to it. But it's also something being said about Sometimes you just gotta jump on the boat and dare to do the things you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. Lin Manuel actually mentioned, I'm quoting, "We still playing the same gang members." I actually want to show you a little bit, a little clip about this. Let's see it. And so, um, uh, I s and then you know the other thing that happened to me my senior year when I was directing was 
Side Story was the Cape Man came out. And the Cape Man, if you were to give me a list of my top ten musical heroes, they'd be Mark Anthony, uh, Ruben Blades, and Paul Simon would all be on that list. Uh, and to be fair, I don't think Paul Simon is capable of writing a bad song, and I think that score is gorgeous. But I just had a reaction like you just had, which was, it's 40 years later, and we're still not only oh, gang right. members, but gang members in the 50s with knives, with the same gang members. Um, but I will leave my right for empowering our people to not only represent gang members. And, uh, and so part of the impulse to write in the Heights was sort of a dare with myself. Can we use Latin music in a Broadway sense, in a musical theater sense, to tell stories, but not tell that story? Um, tell a different story. Um, Bianca also mentioned, in top of whatever you want me to be, I am an artist, I am a singer, I am a dancer. So again, subject of breaking the boundaries with the roles, with the stereotypes, with the cliches that people want you to play, and she's empowering people actually by just saying, this is who I am, this is with the person that I am. Um, I was very, very thrilled to listen to that, Bianca. Because it was very tough. And now, even though it's still very, very hard, there are, there are not so many uh, opposition to Latin work. And I don't mean only, uh, you know, uh, uh, acting, performing, directing. We have fantastic Latin people who say Tintero was extraordinary director, extraordinary. We have wonderful, I mean, Gina Rivera, you can, Raul Julia, Jesus, we have great people. But there were not many pieces written by Latin people. They were not accepted that much. Mm -hmm. And you think it's changed. It, it is changing. Well, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> I can tell you it's changing. And it's going to keep on changing, I hope. It's going slower, I have to say. I would like to see it that there is absolutely no difference before I die. And they better hurry up because <laughs> I'm almost there. You know what I mean? So I have to, I have to trust people like me as well that he would push forward. Mm. But it is a very slow make, you know, train going on. Mm. And this is what my problem has been. That every time I, I could do those pieces when I went to Andrew Bishop in Lincoln Center. Right. And I would be kept, but otherwise in the commercial theater it was almost impossible to do this. General, we want to congratulate again all the people that make this festival possible. Um, I'm going to try my best and keep them supporting and all the team of Revolution Latina is going to try to go to the different events and support everything that's going on. But you, my people, go out there and have fun. Go out there and be a participant, an active participant of things like this so that we can have more of them, so that we can have more venues for more people, more, more experience, more exposure, more knowledge and people who to learn from. Thank you for being with us here today in Revolución Latina. There to go beyond, and we will actually be striving to bring new interviews. We already have Lynn Manuel, we already have Graciela Daniel, who's coming on soon, but we will make our part to try to bring Bianca and Eugenio also to be part of the interviews in Revolución Latina. Let us know what you guys want, let us know what kind of workshops you guys are asking for, let us know what kind of information you guys would like to know about, let us know, let us know who you would like us to interview, and we will keep trying to make our best and there to go beyond bringing you what you guys want in a free way of just celebrating life and culture through Revolución Latina.